last first blast off of the year. Last one. Crazy, the year has just kind of went by fast. See, this year has kind of been a blur. But uh, St. Lawrence River. One of the best smallmouth bass fisheries in the country. I mean, hands down. It's got a lot of pressure. It's not nearly as good as it was the first time I came here four years ago. And I didn't even have forward faces sonar then and it was, seemed to be a little bit easier to get bites but you know somebody's gonna catch them big real big i'm still thinking the mark here is going to be over 20 a day to you know have a decent tournament we've got a long run ahead of us through big waves out into some big water hopefully we get there safe in one piece and then can catch our fish and then get back in one piece as well so the question mark this week is mobility not going to be able to cycle through spots very much this week. Not going to be able to run around a lot. It's just going to be too much wind on way too big of a lake to really move and check different spots. So we're going to go to one area. And today, at least, all our eggs are kind of in one basket. You know, we got to go there. We got to make it happen out of one area. So hopefully we can do that. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. There's some fish around, um, not a ton of real giant ones, but are some big ones in the area and, you know, quite a few fish. So hopefully they have not moved. And if they did move, hopefully I can find them. So looking forward to getting out there and just kind of seeing what happens. You know, we got a shot at Angler of the Year, but we got to go have a really good tournament to do it. You know, it's not like we have a big lead and we can just like make the top 50 and we're good. It's like, no, nah, you still have to go win AOI in this tournament right here. So got to go catch them and got to go catch them big two days of practice in this one we had a, we had a day of practice canceled and that's going to kind of you know hurt people a little bit i think it definitely hurt me i didn't get to check a lot of stuff that i would normally check and didn't get to find as much new waters i would normally find either so you know two days of practice definitely changed things but looking forward to going you know got a long run this morning and when we get there and start catching them It'll all feel a lot better. You gotta stop passing the baton. <laughs> I hope we stop. I hope it's passed for the last time. Bassmaster Elite Series, the Minn Kota Bassmaster Elite at the St. Lawrence River. Five, four, three, two, one. Leading them out, your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader. Behind him, a two time Elite Series champion from South Carolina, the COWP, Brandon Cobb. He's a Bassmaster Elite Series champion, a former Dakota Olympian rookie of the year. Well, that the Avco Raptor, hey, Yamaha, Our defending champion in this very event, and your reigning Dakota Olympian rookie of the year, Jay Shakurit. Right behind him, a four time Bassmaster winner trying to make. Get up here, you beautiful thing, you. I can't freaking get him. How about that after that freaking run, baby? We let that get a little bit more full. That's going to be ice cold in there right now. Put him in as a full four. Give me some more, dude. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Bouncing through them daggone waves, I was like, man, am I a dummy? Well, you did not. It's a big one. Stay on, baby, stay on.
Cái này tại vì I should have brought you a seat. You know what's better than fizzing one big small mouth? Fizzing two. The scale didn't take this one. No. The one I just caught is a three pounder. That's what I thought. I know what that was. So you've seen them before, huh? Give me something, dude. Another big one. Yeah. Woo. Come up here, baby doll. Come up here. They like to get under that dang boat. I need to go chase it. Give me some, baby, yes. Woo! Woo! Five and a half. -er. Dude, I'm shaking, dude. I can't believe they're biting like this. better one. And then right over here, baby doll.
pretty dang big one. That sucker. God, they do not stop. He ain't gonna pull it though. I'm happy with our weight for the day, but uh, just one little flurry, and then we didn't catch them the rest of the day at all. So, I don't know. Definitely need to hunker down in that area for longer the next two days if we can get there and everything will work out. You don't have to go that far back. I actually look more relaxed like that. Can I ask you a super big favor? The person. The holder, bass holder? Yeah. Can you sit slide back just a hair? <laughs> slide back? Okay. Jesus, look at that one. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, one Did you weigh that one, bro? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a giant. Yeah, that's you guys think of? That's good. <laughs> Might be the big fish of the day, that guy. It feels more relaxed like this than that. Man, I already can't breathe. I feel like my How much stomach. time you got? 30 days? Not long. Two months? Good job, Nadeau. Alright, we got some fish here, buddy. Do not let them go back in the no, water. Oh, let them go. They ain't going nowhere. Oh, man. There you go. Yeah, good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. I need to get real loud. He is your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fish here today. Came into this event with a six point lead over Brandon Cobb. Five fish here today. 25 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into third place. With 25-10, let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. So cold, Al Welter. 25-10, currently sitting in third place in this tournament. We're going to gain some progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points here today. Six pounds and nine ounces, a brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass. And dude, you came into this event, you know, with a small lead over Cobb, and you did your job on day number one. Yeah, you know, we actually came into this effectively tied, you know, because it's a small lead, basically. I mean, that can change every single day, but what we risked it today. You know, a lot of guys did. Everybody called the big bags, had to go out there and, and tough the giant waves, but it, I'm really happy with the weight, how it worked out. Hopefully we can get out there a little bit easier tomorrow and, you know, have more time to actually fish. This angler of the year race, the way you guys are both catching them, I mean, it literally could come down to Sunday, which has not happened for a very long time. Are you ready to have this uh, throw down all the way to the end? That's how I wanted to go. You know, like, I want the excitement, win, lose, or draw. Like, let's make it interesting. Let's, let's have fun. You know, let's keep it, keep it rolling as long as we can. Can't wait to watch it go down. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Day two, St. Lawrence River. Definitely need a big bag today. You know, had 25-10 yesterday. Got to catch at least 22 or 23 to stay where I need to stay. And anything more than that, and we'll stay in contention to actually win the tournament. So, I mean, just going to catch the five biggest ones we could possibly catch. Conditions are going to change. We'll have to move around probably and find where the fish are. But we'll be a lot more, have a lot more accessible water today because the wind's going to lay down a little bit. So I'll be able to actually move around and find, you know, fish for a couple of different groups of fish today, hopefully. when Yesterday I already got to fish for one group, so could be a really fun day. Conditions are vastly different than yesterday, and I know that smallmouth don't sit still, so definitely got to get in the area where I think there's some big ones and, and locate them again because I've learned fish for smallmouth as they move, I'm at the drop of a hat. So hopefully today we'll be able to locate them. We got a long day today. That's really gonna help me out because when conditions change, they're definitely gonna move and all it takes is a short couple of flurries to have a really big bag here.
Arkansas, the Cowboy, Joey Sequentes, a four-time Bassmaster winner from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. He set the all-time winning weight record of smallmouth bass, 102 pounds, 9 ounces, right here last year. 430. 430, right? You caught it. He's not a six, but he's a five and three quarter. Yeah. Can he fizz these two real quick? Pretty nice one. Getting bigger by the second. Oh my god. Yeah. Over this way, over this way, real quick. Over this way, over this way. Keep freaking getting. God. It ain't as big as he looked when he was airborne, I'll tell you that. But he is big. He's a five. Yeah. I thought I missed him. When we went to make another cast that he was on there. No, I said it was a pretty one. Oh, okay. You don't think it's a pretty one? Yeah. I think he's prettier in just a second. He looks like he's a four. He was just right here by the boat, and I could have grabbed him, but I wasn't over here. I got too much line out now. What you 
Come on, you big sucker. I can't never grab by the dang man. He was never coming off. I'm threading a gamakatsu light wire worm hook, and that sucker gets him. Never in a million years. <laughs> he coming off. I could bobble him all day at the boat. He's a four. Like a four two. Getting rid of that one. See ya. Getting rid of a three pounder. I wish he'd have jumped about another foot this way. Oh my God. That, yeah, big and that sucker went ballistic. Was that the shot you wanted? Get up in this boat, I need you. Get tired, big girl. You think that's one of them you missed? No, it's not. It's a new group. There was three of them sitting up there by themselves. About 120 yards, 120 feet from where I just lost that one. I was kind of curious if it was even a bass. It is definitely a bass. I've got 10 pound Sunline AMZ braid tied to eight pound Sunline shooter leader. Freaking meat pie, baby. Look at that one, baby. Woo! Yes, dude, give me some, baby. Yes. God, that's a chunk, baby. <laughs> it's got to be five, don't it? It's got to be. At least. Yeah, right at five. I think we'll turn, turn our only one loose now that's smaller than three pounds. He's seen it. I think this is a big one. Yeah, that is a big one. Come over here, baby. Mm -hmm. Come over here. Come over here. Well, that ain't that big.
Get in ain't that big. I thought it was bigger. It was pretty big in it. What do you got to get rid of? 4.18. Feels like a smaller one. May not be a bass. I think we both know what that is right there. That's a freaking big one. Goodness, dude. Well, we Chaw. You might know of a summer house to buy up here. One, one that a fisherman can afford. Gotta be over five. My heart's beating harder right now than it has the whole time. It's worse right now. The make footers are just part of the process. This right here is a bonus one. Dude, he's about to spool me. It ain't that big. Maybe it is that big. Swallowed it. Choked it. Was he? 414. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Cha. What do you have to say for yourself today, Kyle? Phenomenal day. Unbelievable day. It's the uh, best day of fishing for smallmouth I've ever had. Go have a really good bag, you know, and I mean, our smallest fish is a five pounder, so what do we do, you know? I mean, there's, it's hard to catch a six. We're checking in a little bit early, had some mechanical issues that scared me a little bit. So we're right here. I had just a blast, man. So much fun out there. Just, I mean, glad we get to go do it again tomorrow. And hopefully the day after that, if we can make it, just got to catch them tomorrow, you know, stay, stay on top of things move if the fish move and then make it happen
That's all right, Kyle. You ready? Yeah. So how was your day? Phenomenal. Best day of smallmouth fishing I've ever had in my life. And it was at the right time. No great time. Next up, he is your leader in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points from Alabama, Stone Cold Pat Lecter. At 25 pounds and 10 ounces, needs 26-12 to take the lead here today on his quest to become an Angler of the Year. Needs 26-12. 27 pounds, 12 ounces, 27, 12, and Stone Cold Tal Welcher is leading the Minkota Bassmaster Elite on the St. Lawrence River. 53 pounds, 6 ounces, and he's atop the leaderboard of both the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title and the Minkota Bassmaster Elite. Put away this for Pink's both big bass. He's been better than 6'1". 6 pounds, 8 ounces. And dude, you are leading basically everything there is to lead with two days left in the season. You came in here with a slim six-point lead over Brandon Cobb. And man, you are leading this tournament. Yeah, but exactly what you said, there's still two days to go. You know, and that's... It's fun to catch them really good, but, you know, like you're famous saying, what a difference a day can make, you know. So I'm just going to try to make good adjustments, stay on top of the fish and catch them. But today was an absolute phenomenal day. That's by far the best day of fishing for smallmouth I've ever had in my life. I mean, I'm just blown away that all that happened today. You got so close to winning the Bassmaster Classic just a few years ago, that bridesmaid finish. And now the two most coveted trophies in this sport, obviously the Classic and Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Do you feel like you're going to hold that trophy two days from now? Yeah, you know, that's that's been the plan all year. You know, from the first tournament, that's been the plan. Now, I just do everything that I can to make that plan come to fruition, but I'm glad that now that I'm having a good day, you brought all that, that bad juju up. <laughs> now, I have nothing to do with it. I smell stuff. Well, it, it, it is true. We did come in second, but hopefully we don't do that this week. Before you leave here, you got our progressive weekly bonus, $1,000, and at the end of this week, that check gets a whole lot bigger. Let's hear it for your tournament leader and your progressive bass dresser angler of the year leader.